Good afternoon and namaste to one and all present here. The next 20 minutes will not be about me or what I do, but it will be about what we plan to do. When I say we, I mean our students and me. The topic Ideas born in the classroom. My 11 years of teaching experience when I enter the classroom is of course sharing knowledge with my students. But I make sure that in each and every class that I go, I have a brainstorming session where we come with ideas. I'll share you my experience about one special thing that students don't like and that's attendance. So I give a problem to the students and ask them, like in a given time in our college, about 20 classes are going on and at the end the teacher, the teacher has to take attendance and waste around three to five minutes. So I've been asking the students, can we come with a real solution where all the parties are happy? Like in every class we have, the front seaters are the 10 pointers. They come with very complex but solution. Like, so can't we have, can't we have a, a smart card where a student carries it and comes to the class and the attendance is automatically recorded. But again, there's a problem there. What if one individual gets the cards for five of them, the other four gets attendance for free? And you have the backbenchers, guys with deep voice, and the voice from the back comes, so why have attendance at all? Yeah, makes sense. It makes sense. Why have attendance at all? But when we talk about, let's find a problem to this, let's find a solution to this problem, we always come across the wall. In creative process, we call this brain fog. That means your mind, your mind says, let's give up, there's no solution. But then, as one of our read, one of our speakers said, gut feeling. And he even mentioned the famous GE CEO Jack Welch. And even when nothing works, when your logic fails, when your logic fails, the gut works and we have to break the wall. And once we break the wall, we come across the solution. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be speaking about an idea that came out of the classroom. An idea that now we are ready to bring out to anyone as a product. It started when Nepal was struck with a massive earthquake this year. Thousands of people died properties worth billions of dollars damaged, destroyed. Pushpak, my student, called me and asked, so are we doing something for Nepal? As I said, like I always do, go ahead, my blessings with you. And within no time, they created a community called Manipal for Nepal. And within a week, they had collected cash and they had even collected huge material resources that were sent to Nepal. And just prior to this, to this tragic incident, I had taken a few of my business management students to a foster home in Kalingpong where they met 
Alice, a 12-year-old girl, very interested to read Harry Potter, but she couldn't afford it. They even met Nishal, interested to be a football player, but he couldn't afford to buy a football boot. And in one of the classes, we had a brainstorming session where the students started asking questions to themselves, trying to find the solution. Can we help Alice Nishul and his Very <laughs> Banachi Sixty-three orphans in one orphanage run by an individual. The students were moved. They had taken the clothes, biscuits. We had visited them. But now comes the time when we want to do something, if not extraordinary, but something that is worth doing. And not only the orphans from Little Angels Kalingpong benefit, but also from the other orphanages, and we have not many old age homes coming up. So can they benefit? So we had a session, and based on what Victor Hugo once had said, no force on earth can stop an idea whose time has come. So I felt, we felt, yes, this is the, I, this is the time when we should come with the force, and no force can stop us. What's the force? The force to tell yourself that you can achieve if you want to. Courage meets freedom, or freedom meets courage. The theme for this TED, what's freedom? To us now, internet is one of the greatest freedom to mankind. We are all using it. And what's courage? The greatest courage of all. The courage to give, the courage to contribute, and of course, the courage to inspire. Now, my students and I, we have teamed up to give, contribute, and inspire thousands of little angels in this region. And we have come up with a concept which is now turning into a real product, and we are naming it Care to Share. The logo is designed by our own student, Abhishek Dev, who's seated here. Everything is being done by the students. What do we call it? My friends who were here this morning said they have their own startup. We also thought, We'll name it a startup, but we cannot call it a business startup because there's no business out of it. And when there's no business out of it, you're always successful because there's no risk of failure. So we are planning to call this a social startup. A new thing, a social startup where the only risk is there's no risk. Now this video shall tell you more about this concept. My name is Anamka Pradhan and uh, I've, uh, this is Dan Brown's Inferno. Uh, this is a very good book, it's a fantastic book. I've re already read it, so I want someone else to read it who cannot afford to buy it. I now have got an app to share this book. Uh, this is Scared to Share. So if somebody likes to donate something, all you need to do is take two photos, upload it on our website. We are almost ready with our app and our volunteers will call you. Like in case of Alice, she wanted to read Harry Potter, but there's somebody who's giving her Dan Brown's book. Or in case of Nishal, who wanted a football boot, there's somebody who has the solution for this. I'm Ramesh Chitri. I've got this pair of football boots, which is very much special to me, but now it doesn't fit to me. So I just want to give it to one who need it and cannot afford it through care to share. 
So once you do it, our executives will call you. Hello, is this Anamika Pradhan? Uh, good morning, ma'am. This is uh, Neharani from Care to Share. You have just now uploaded the images of your novel. So where can we meet? Okay. Your uh, novel will go to LS. And after that, there's somebody who will volunteer to go and I pick am the... I Dubey and I am volunteer from Care to Share and I will meet Ramesh at MG Mark and I will collect the booth and I will pack it and send it to Mr. Yes, as of now, this is an idea which is in its concept and development stage. But we have promised ourselves that we will volunteer to help the needy people in our own way, using technology and the exuberance of the youth, we are ready to make a difference. For example, we will now be talking to them. In fact, we are, we are in talks with them, the public transport system, where if they have a sticker of care to share, it means they have to carry the goods from one point to the other. And many of them have shown their interest. Initially, they thought we were doing business, but we had to explain them in our own words, ways to tell them that, see, this is no business. It is a new thing that's coming up in this region. It's been done by the students, and you have to support. As of now, we have 15 people who are supporting us, and we are continuing with it. And I think in time to come, we'll have at least 50 to start with. And we plan to start this early next year. Where do we want to start it? We want to start it with Gangtok as its headquarter, followed by Darjeeling, and followed by Kalimpong. And our ex-student, Namrata, who's present here, she will take charge of Gangtok. I'll take charge of Kalimpong. That's where I come from. And we are looking for somebody who will take charge of Darjeeling, but I'm very sure it will be one of our own students. If not students, then an ex-student will take care of Darjeeling. So the purpose of this talk today is to tell you that when we go to classroom, it's of course to share knowledge to the students, but a class is a powerhouse of ideas. They may not have the memory to grasp what the books say or the books say, but they have the ideas which they may be hesitant enough not to share. But my 11 years experience as a teacher, I think I've been able to motivate the students to come out with ideas, and this is the result. And in the next phase, we would like to go to Kershaw and Siliguri. So by the end of 2016, care to share may be a household brand in five major towns of North Bengal and Sikkim. Now something about how does the app work? The app is also being made by one of our own students, a second year old computer geek, a very passionate student person, Manish Dawash. He is making the app, which is, of course, in a very development phase right now. This is how it works. You have to register. You have to download the app. And this is how it looks. You want to share something. You can go, the photos that you have clicked, you can upload. After you upload it, you submit it, and our executives will take care of it. Like in this case, he is trying to upload HP wireless mouse. And there's one, uh, one thing here where you know, need analysis of what the orphans want. It will be listed there. So somebody opens the app and sees, I need something like Alice needs chapels, okay, or shoes. You can donate there. Which means 
It gives them the freedom to tell the donors that we need this. Normally when we donate, we donate our old stuff. Yes, irrespective to whom it goes to. But here now you'll come to know the shoes that you are giving is going to some gentleman, somebody who is in need of it. Where are we now? Big question, where are we now? We are nowhere. But with TED, we want to be everywhere. Website and app, app development that's going on. Word of mouth promotion to our families and friends because they will be donating it and they're very important. And if 500 people start promoting through word of mouth, 25,000 within a month, for sure. Talking to logistic partners. We're talking to our logistic partners and if they agree to, which of course they will, some of them have, as I've already mentioned, our work becomes easy. Because it's not difficult to find the donor, but to move the goods from the donor to the needy person takes something. And if they come to help us, to rescue us, nothing better than that. Looking for sponsors. We're looking for sponsors because we are a new social startup. We need money. But for that, we have to register our organization. We are in that process. We will register it. And making a team in three major towns, Kalimpong, Gangtok, the headquarter, and Darjeeling. Care to share. What is it? It's our idea. It's an idea that has come out from the classroom. Now many of you must be thinking like, what's the need? What's the need? Business ideas should come from the classroom. I agree to that. But what if a social idea comes from the classroom, a business idea can come as well. And let me tell you, very many business ideas have come from the classroom. Let me share you one. Very interesting. Information. I was talking to the first year BTEC students, and I told them, like, after BTEC, what do you want to do? Many of them said, so we want to work. We want to start our own business. And one of the students, she came with a really nice concept where like in Uber Taxi or Ola, okay, you register it and you, with your uh, Google Maps, a taxi comes near you when you want it. The same concept, she wants to use it where instead of a taxi, a maid comes to you. And we had named it Kantabai.com. So Kantabai.com will make you sure that when you use that app, a maid will come to your home. So a lot many ideas come through the classroom. It's our vision. We know, we know it will be a success. It will be a success because we are not using our brain more than we are using our heart. We're using our heart, and when you use your heart, you will be successful. Because here, we don't want anything in return. We don't want to be listed in Forbes or anywhere. We just want thousands of people in and around to get what they need and what they cannot afford. It's our struggle. It is our struggle because we're not getting salary for this. We're doing it absolutely free. So when I go to somebody and talk to see we have a concept, would you like to volunteer? The first thing they say, they'll ask is, what will I get? What will I get? So it will be very difficult for him to be motivated when I say, you get nothing, but you get everything. So it's our struggle. But more than anything else, I would like to end my very short TED talk by saying, it is the creative genius and power of our students, the creative power that's in the classroom. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, and please share when the app comes to the market. Thank you.